My name is Briar Stanley. I'm an interior decorator based in Sydney and um, I've also got a blog called Sunday Collector. I'm a mum of two and a wife and we've just recently renovated our first family home. The home was a red brick um, original bungalow that was built in the late 1960s. It was actually the second house built on this street. So it was in very much original state when we bought it two years ago literally untouched by the family that had been here for that long. Um, so we rented it out for two years while we uh, thought about what we wanted to do to it and um, as soon as our tenants left we literally had the builder arrive that afternoon and we just blitzed it, um, renovating it for eight weeks. Number one uh, piece of advice I'd give um, when tackling your own renovation is to research and research some more with the builder you're going to use. We were so lucky with ours, a true professional, he had a team of four and he didn't leave for eight weeks basically. We had four guys, rain, hail or shine, on this job. So that helped us immeasurably. I selected this carpet quite early on during the renovation process. Um, basically because I was sold on it so quickly and I wanted to ensure that it worked with the floorboards I was going with. So it was a very important, very early decision that I made. I looked at quite a few carpets and I was drawn to Stonefields. I remember I saw it in the showroom first when I touched it and I went, could I do it? It's just fabulous. And as um, soon as she handed me the grey stone, I just was sold. It was exactly the grey I was imagining. I wanted to carry it across the four spaces. I had my baby boy's room that was going to be navy blue, I had my room that was going to be a soft grey, my daughter's room that was this really light peach. So to me this tone of grey just worked in with those three looks. The carpet installation day was a really exciting day because it was just that one step closer, okay I can put a bed in here, we can officially stay the night. Yeah I'm a big fan of wool carpet keep on choosing it <laughs> and I'll keep on choosing it for my clients as, as long as they'll um, accept it. Yeah. What inspires me, That's it's kind of always changing. I've got to say I um, uh, travel, I also love to read interior mags. Um, like everyone else I find inspiration on, on Pinterest and Instagram. And I've got to say, um, I love walking by the beach. That's another cliche, but yeah, looking out at water, that is, um, I really like to be close to water. Yeah, that inspires me. There's a trend that I'm really um, liking that I'm actually carrying out through my, my garden and that's the whole cactus kind of Palm Springs vibe. Yeah, I'm, I'm following that trend closely because I just love that look. And I've got to say, I've always loved cactuses and succulents so it's yeah it's something that's got longevity for me yeah I don't think you can say a house is ever finished because I just think you can see things along the way like I might find an armchair that I just can't resist and I think oh I've got to you know reupholster that and that'll be beautiful in that corner so I'll never say my house is finished but it's my passion